anti-Semitism when it comes to racism or bigotry or homophobia and all that. We all know governments don't actually care about that. They they don't. They don't give a fuck about it at all. What they Obviously. what they it's care a, about is it's a political want, weapon. Yeah, it's it's a convenient, useful excuse to bring these laws in, right, so that they can arrest people, for, you know, dissidents, you know, people that speak out against the state. Like one of the best examples that I can give of just complete Stalinism, and you can actually read this, and it is in the police's own hate crime operational guidance handbook, right? And it all comes down to perception. Perception is why, why it is all it takes for someone to be arrested and charged of a crime. So for example, let's say that me, we're walking down the street, right? You've, this is in Britain, right? If you you don't have your yarmulke on, there's absolutely no way I know that you're Jewish whatsoever. Oh. But, but, but I'm just saying, like, let's say, let's say, yeah, <laughs> right. and, and we we accidentally bang into each other, and I turn around to you and go, "Watch where you're fucking going," and I keep walking, right? Now, I didn't say a slur to you, I didn't say anything like that, and like, I had no idea whatsoever that you were Jewish, but. See if you say to the police, I think he spoke to me like that because I'm Jewish. Your perception, that's enough for an arrest. Oh, you're a total paranoid. Well, how am I a paranoid? I pick up on those kind of things. You know, I was having lunch with some guys from NBC. So I said, uh, do you eat yet or what? And Tom Christie said, no, Jew? Not did you, Jew eat? Jew? No, not did you eat, but Jew eat? Jew, you get it? Jew eat? Uh, you know, <laughs> that's... That that is from Annie Hall, from Annie Hall, 1975. And what can happen is courts can just invent intent, right? They can just invent it because that's what happened during my trial. I went, I stood in front of the judge, I stood in front of everyone, saying, "I made this to be a funny video. I just wanted to make a joke. That was it." But then the prosecutor stood up and basically did the whole dog whistling thing where he says, no, you were doing this video to incite hatred of Jews, you want people to attack Jews, you want this, and it was just all this exaggerated, hyperbolic, complete fucking nonsense. Now, right? is there any ba any basis in your life history or other that we were able to, to bring evidence that you, in fact, were an anti-Semite or are an anti-Semite, or no. you're just a they, regular guy? And, 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 they, they brought in the Scottish intelligence service to go through my computer and go through my electronic devices. And when they took the stand, basically they, my, my lawyer says, did you find anything whatsoever linking him to any anti-Semitic groups, far right groups, racist groups, bigoted groups, blah, blah. Did you find any publications? Did you find any documents, any notes? And the guy sat there and went, no, we found nothing like that at all. Like, because guess what? I'm not. But for the trial, that wasn't good.